Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome back to another video of me talking over my VGC match uh, with VGC King. Now let's take a look at the team. As you probably would have guessed, like these were pretty much day one teams, of course. Uh, and like they are very solid monks, don't get me wrong. Landers, of course, can be very strong. Uh, being faster than Xerneas as well, very interesting. But this time I really wanted to bring the Sea King. Because I believe Seeking could save the world. Bom, 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 bom. <laughs> Just play the avatar music, imagine. Uh, but yeah, I think Seeking has a spot. Maybe not on Kyogre teams, because Kyogre has too many threats to deal with. Uh, like Seeking can cover, for example, Rillaboom. If it could uh, cover it, like I feel like Serena, Kyogre is way better to deal with that stuff. Um, to deal with Rillaboom then. Like, again, Seeking plus ho -Oh. I believe that will be the strat. I believe that will be the thing that will be working out fine. Oof. But yeah, as you see in the team before here, they're using Suicune as well. Suicune is also very interesting because Suicune now with Inner Focus can be flinched, gets Tailwind up, can snarl. There's a lot of Suicune can do and also being a bulky water is never bad. Like Icy Wind, Scald, it's still like Suicune has a good fine, is like has a moveset that's completely fine. I just realized that I'm really, really hungry, but I don't get to eat for another two hours, so that's... Uh, Anyway, daily Regilecki, Sarina. Uh, this is something that's also an issue for like green teas as well, because people tend to lead uh, Rillaboom plus Regilecki, for example, against Kyogre, and like this is not a good situation for me at all. Like, it's hard to get out of this. Certainly, like Seeking can cover the um, Seeking can cover the Regilecki, but then the Sarina is still there. It doesn't die because of an Ice Beam. Either like most of the Sarinas are Assault Vest or e Citrus Berry are very, very bulky. So it's hard to see. But I just go for the safe play. Uh, Reggie Lucky goes for Protect 2. That's very safe. It's good play, honestly. Kyo I'm just gonna go for Protect with my Kyogre. Just checking to see what they were planning to do. I just go for the Tailwind just to see what they wanted to do. Uh, as you will see, Serena will go for Grassy Glide. Which I think is very interesting because Serena is being used against Rillaboom as well. Abusing Rillaboom's Grassy Glide as well with Serena is actually a very smart play. And I think I really like that. I, I do like that. I can't see anything else. I like that. I just go for Ice Beam on Serena and Regilecki retreats as well. So Regilecki probably not Sash, not wanting to be able uh, to die. Uh, but like also I wanted to encore I forgot about Queenly Majesty I really did and that's completely on me because this is gonna hurt now as you see I've been us 50% and Power Whip comes out and Power Whip is gonna take out my Kyogre and I lost my Kyogre bro I already lost my Kyogre which is not good because I have a Seeking and a Scissor now the Scissor can deal with the Serena but we do know there's a Regilecki in the back as well. I, my Seeking can deal with that. Seeking could possibly win against Suicune as well, depending on who gets the burn first. It's honestly very hard to see. Uh, I do have my Tailwind up, so I can't just safely U-turn, being sure that Serena will switch out, because most Serenas don't play Protect. Because why would you play Protect? You don't Protect for Fake Outs, but like Protect is still the best move, certainly in this meta. Like, uh, in every VGC meta, Protect was the best move. In Dynamax meta, maybe a little bit less, since it's less important. But now, certainly, more than ever, you should be running Protect. I just go for the Moonblast, just to get some chip on the Serena, being sure that I'm able to kill this. Uh, Serena's special attack fell, which is completely fine. I'm sure that this Serena dies now. I also, like, Moonblasted in case, like, Reggie Lucky switched in, and it was, like, Sash Ilucky. Stuff like that. I just wanted some damage on that. Because, like, I don't really care that much about that Suicune. So I can go Seeking. And as we know, Reggie Lucky is not a threat to me. And so Suicune isn't either. Suicune goes for Tailwind. And that is a mistake. Because then again, what can I do? Of course, it's Encore. Bro, I'm telling you. Encore is so fucking powerful. Like, I can't... 
sealed enough. And we see that uh, the Zishion comes in. Zishion, of course, being a very scary Pokemon. I do have Scald for, to try fish for a possible burn. I can survive uh, an attack from Zishion as well. I have Haze as well. And, of course, Icy Wind. Now, I'm just going to encore the Suicune first. Because if Suicune can't Scald my Scizor, that's way better for me. And me being able to Scald the Zishion, like, even if it subs, the sub will break. Zishion, but then Zishion goes for Protect as well. And I'm like, whoa, you saw that I had Protect, right? Like, that I had Encore, I mean. Like, earlier. Apparently forgot. So Suicune is stuck. I go for Scald. And the Zishion will be stuck now, too. I can just Encore the Zishion. I don't care. Like, I can just... It's fine. They're stuck. They're both stuck. So they have to switch out. They have to switch out a Mon, and if they switch out, it's Regieleki. And Regieleki can't touch either of these two Mons. Like, it will do... Uh, Choice Specs Thunderbolt, for example, will do a lot to Whimsicott still, but my uh, Seeking is stopping that. So it has to Electro Web, it has to... And then it won't do anything to my Whimsicott. And now, it's, look at this, this station is just stuck! And this we can goes for Tailwind again. I go for Scald, hoping that he wouldn't get a double, but he did get a double, which is a four for me. The rain is over. Scald, st Scald can still burn through, um, and like they're stuck. There's no other way to say it. I go for Moon Blast because I just want to make sure that I can uh, lower the special attack or try lowering the special attack of the Suicune. I because I need Chip on the Suicune as well, of course. Zacian gets retreated, which is, in my opinion, might not have been the best. Uh, switch but like not wanting to risk to burn I can get it of course uh, Reggie like it comes in I can moon I moon blast Suicune as you see no special attack drop which is fine I go for Scald as you see it doesn't do that much Seeking is of course not the strongest but maybe in hindsight it was a good switch by him because like if I burned that uh, Zacian would have kind of sucked and guess what? Suicune's Encore ended, but that means I can Encore again, or like expect him to to uh, want to switch out. But I, I'm safe to go for another Skull on this Reggie Lucky slot, because this Reggie Lucky can't do anything to me. It can't protect, which is fine, but then I get stuck in Encore again. You see? You see how Encore is like putting your opponents in such an annoying position? And there we go. Lightning Rod. I'm plus one. Now. He has to electro up, and my Whimsicott doesn't care. Because as you see, like it doesn't do anything. It lowers my speed, which is fine, but I'm still prankster. I will still be faster. My Encore will always be faster. So I go for another Sculpt. Now I'm plus one, so I'm sure that I kill this Reggie Lucky. We both... Alright, now the Zacian is going to come in. We're sure, absolutely 100% sure, that this Zacian should not go for Protect should not go for substitute this station should kill my whimsical that means i can protect whimsical and scald with my seeking because if the station chooses any other option it will get burned and honestly uh i should have probably protected with whimsical but i went for damage instead whimsical uh no i i did protect what am i saying wow i can't see my own plays anymore so as you see behemoth blade Yep, doesn't touch my Wizard Cup. Suicune so going for Tailwind yet again. I go for a strong skull because I'm now plus one. Well, strong, you know. And I get the burn. VG Seeking. All I'm saying, bro. It is a, like uh, the positioning of Encore plus uh, being able to scald, uh, like and redirect Lightning Rod is so good. I think Seeking has a spot in this meta. I really do. It's just not next to Kyogre. Maybe even Lugia if you wanna. But it needs to be next to a fine type so Rillaboom doesn't screw you over. I see Behemoth Blade on the scissor, and as you see, does diddly squat. Suicune goes for Tailwind again. That's fine. I go for Haze. I lose my minus one. Um, Minus one special attack. But honestly, I don't care at this point. Because I just want to spread burns. And be sure that the Zacian does less and less damage. The Suicune probably can go uh, for uh, Scald on my Scissor right now. 
I should not maybe have switched Scissor out yet. I wasn't sure if I should or not. Um, but I did it, so I gotta play around it. Like, I just want to chip this Zacian. That's honestly my main goal. And as you see, the Zacian goes for sub this time. Uh, I think you can go for that. Now, It, it's fine. Sweeping goes for Scald. And as we can see, does burn me. Now, this is not the greatest, but that's fine. I SD it because honestly, I anticipated it to happen. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna SD it. Like, honestly. We also know that Skull won't break this up. Uh, but we do know that Zacian's putting himself more and more on a timer if he keeps subbing. So that means we can, uh, with Scissor, we can just bullet punch, for example, the Zacian again. And we can just uh, Scald the Zacian as well. Just. Getting that lower and lower, it doesn't matter if he subs, because he has like one more sub in him. I just need to break this sub, being sure, um, making sure that this Zacian doesn't sub again. Zacian very smart, not going for protect, because if the Suicune kills my Scizor, I can just uncar it again. So, it had to go for Sacred Sword. Goes for my Seeking, and as you see, does nothing! Fiji Seeking, Fiji Seeking, Fiji Seeking. Goes for the Skull of my Seeking, uh, trying to get a burn, which is actually a good play, in all honesty. Uh, now the Zacian has to, like, Zacian is low, it doesn't matter anymore. Like, I can bullet punch it, but like, it's low, it's so low. Like, if it protects, I can bring in my um, Whimsical again. I'm just gonna Ice Wind, just being sure that the Suicune goes slower as well. Because in case this weekend goes for Tailwind or for something. Does go for Scald. And like Scissor goes down. Oh doesn't doesn't go down. I go for U-turn. Do get some chip on this Suicune. Which is fine. I go for Icy Wind, just making sure that this Suicune uh, speed goes down a bit as well. Whimsical comes back in. And guess what I can do? Check it out. Yeah. We can encore the Zacian, but then again, do we need to? Isn't it better to encore the Suicune? Because if the Suicune is stuck in Scald, my Seeking could win that. Now, this is very tough, because like we don't know it. Like, the Suicune could uh, has the possibility of having Ice Wind as well. Um, I'm just going to protect double just to get the burn, like uh, give the burn another turn, just to see if it goes down, in case the Zacian goes down. I, wa I wasn't sure, I thought the burn would have killed him, and then I could have like 1v1 versus Suicune, because I'm very bad at like estimating where it's gonna end up, you know? Like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the greatest at that, I'll be, I'll be real, I'll be real, I'm not the greatest at that. See Behemoth Blade coming out. So we can go in for Snarl this time, trying to lure special attack, which is actually not a bad play at all. And Zacian almost down, but it lifts with a little bit. So now my Whimsical is probably gonna go down. So I'm just gonna Moonblast this week on. Because uh, I can't Uncore the Zacian B. I could Uncore the Zacian Behemoth Blade. But I'm gonna, I could encore the Suicune into uh, Snarl as well, so that I could get a possible burn first. I see Behemoth Blade coming out, final, like the beautiful animation, honestly. But I live. <gasps> but I live! This was is amazing! Just like the Scissor living on two, eight, 3 HP, so will my Whimsicott, for some reason, <laughs> decide, you know what, I'm gonna survive too! I'm a survivor. Now, Snarl will kill my Whimsical, of course. There's no doubt about that. But he lives. He lives. Keeps dodging all around. Amazing Whimsical. It's the best Whimsical around. It's the best around. Nobody's gonna take a shit no down. It's the best around. So it's only Suicune versus my Whimsicott, Seeking, and my Scissor. I think I should have this. 
is what I would assume. Because I would just move black, like protect Whimsicott, just stall out, just for skull burns. Like I could also go for timer as well. Uh, honestly, the few next turns aren't that interesting. So I guess you guys can just see me like, like this week you can't win. That's shortly the point. Like I can't win. Um, it's gonna be low. I'm gonna pro skull burn it. I still have my scissor, and like I timer stall it. All right, I timer stall it. All right, if that's your wing con, go for the wing con. All right, that's all I'm saying. So yeah, that was battle two, and there you can see Seeking pulling through.